Howdy folks, Blues Boy Jag here, yet another four-string cigar box guitar. Listen, this model happens to be a four-string humbucker tuned to open G. Red Oak Neck has always, since 2004, over 4,000 cigar box guitars sold, all handmade by me. Red Oak Neck, sound hole, four strings, tuned to open G. Today, Little Sister by Elvis. The sister, don't you? So we are tuned to open G. This is a four string cigar box guitar, the fifth string of a regular six string set tuned down to G. You can tune off of me. That's a D string tuned normal to D, a G string tuned normal to G. Always tune your G string normal. And a B string tuned to B. So that's a fifth, fourth, third, and second strings from a regular six string guitar set. The fifth is tuned down to G from the normal A, and the fourth, third, and second are turned tuned normal. Let's get right to it. First of all, you're going to do a little bend here. The very beginning of the song on the second string, first finger, second fret. Third fret, sorry. And we're going to walk down. So I'm bending that second string on the third fret, and then I'm playing it open, no fingers at all. Then I'm just walking down. I like to do an up pick on that first one, but it doesn't really matter. You can always do it, you can bend it up or down. All right, so it kicks right into the chorus of the song. Sister, don't you? Sister, don't you? So what I'm doing is just strumming straight up, down, up, down, up. The sister, don't you? I'm coming back on the upbeat and I'm hitting that bend. I'm just walking down. All right, so that's the beginning of the song. It's also the verse. The sister, don't you? The sister, don't you? The sister, don't you kiss me once or twice and say it's very nice and then you run. So, what I'm doing here, I'm going from that G chord to a C chord, but it's sort of a C7 with a G on the bottom. Not quite sure what to call that. Maybe one of y'all know. Anyway, first finger's on the first string, first fret. Second finger's on the third string, second fret. And pinky is on the second string, third fret. You got the open G down there. So, little sister, don't you, when he does that, uh, that lick there, that's just a G chord. Little sister, don't you? Little sister, don't you? Little sister, don't you kiss me once or twice? Now, when you get to that part, kiss me once or twice, you can use your first finger on the first string, first fret, and your second finger on the third string, second fret, and don't use any other fingers. Or you can just strum those and not even play the 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 uh, low G. Either way, I kind of like the low G in there, it gives it a fatter sound. So that's when he says, kiss me once or twice. Now you can add that pinky and you can take it off as well. It's sort of a shuffle kind of a deal. All right, so from the top. Little sister, don't you? Little sister, don't you? I just go from the seventh fret to the eighth, back to the seventh. So that's going to be a C chord, a C sharp, and back down to C. Just like the original. All right, from the top. 
Little sister, don't you? Little sister, don't you? Little sister, don't you kiss me once or twice and say it's very nice and then you run. So when I get back to that when you run lyric and I'm playing an open G, I'm kind of doing a shuffle kind of a thing there. That's just how I do it. And I'm also choking with this hand. So I'm doing the shuffle by playing the first, using the first finger on the third string. And I'm playing all the other strings. So I strum all the strings in that first finger at first, no fingers, and then you're putting it down on the third string, third fret. I like to choke a lot. You probably have noticed that if you've seen my other videos. I'm choking with my fretting hand. I just like doing that. You don't have to, but it sounds cool. So, little sister, don't you? Little sister, don't you? Little sister, don't you kiss me once or twice? C7. And then you run. That's back to your G. I'm doing a syncopated kind of funky version of that G. You don't have to do that funky stuff if you don't want to. I just like to do it. Now we go up to the seventh fret. Little sister, don't you do what your big sister done? Right? So that goes up to the D chord, and D sharp, back to D. And then finally to the open G. So, the whole song. Little sister, don't you? Little sister, don't you? Little sister, don't you kiss me once or twice and say it's very nice and then you run. show you this bend. It's a bend with this finger, first finger, on the second string, third fret, and I'm strumming. So that's pretty straightforward there. When you get to the next part, the sister, don't you kiss me once or twice and say it's very nice. So what I'd like to do is not use my pinky initially. So I have my first finger on the first string, first fret, second finger on the third string, second fret. And then I add my pinky on the second string, third fret. Kiss me once or twice and say it's very nice and then you run. And I'm, I'm playing a shuffle here. First finger on the second string. And then you go to the third string, third fret. And again, you've probably seen me do all this choking. I talk about all this choking stuff. You don't have to do that choke. It's just how I play. I can't not do it. It's funky. So let's take a look at the right hand. Pretty straightforward, down, up, down, up. And if you see my fingers flopping around, that means I'm choking a lot. I'm choking an open chord, and then I'm choking this chord with my first finger down on that third string, uh, third fret. So I'm toggling back and forth between that second string third fret and then the third string third fret. And I'm muting with this. So real slow. Notice when I do this, my first finger is fretting that third string on the third fret, but I'm immediately letting these fingers flop down and kill it. Again, you don't have to do that, but I just want you to know that's what I'm doing in case you're wondering what the heck's happening there. So that's pretty much the whole song, folks. Little sister, don't you? Little sister, don't you? Little sister, don't you kiss me once or twice and say it's very nice and then you run. Little sister, don't you do what your big sister done? Well, I dated your big sister. I took her to the show. That's just a regular blues shop. I went for some candy. Along came Jim Dandy and they snuck right out the door. Told 
of the open chord. Little sister, don't you? Little sister, don't you? Little sister, don't you kiss me once or twice and say it's very nice and then you run. Little sister, don't you do what your big sister does? That's pretty much the whole thing. You do also have an option here, though, for that D chord. You can play your tried and true two finger D chord down here. I use my first finger on the second string, second fret, and my third finger on the first string, third fret. And I've said this many times on this channel. The reason I do that D is because it's shaped exactly like a D on a regular six string. However, that second finger is hanging in midair, but it's the same shape. I know that seems kind of weird, but I've been doing that for so long, it's just embedded in my DNA. So you can do that. The downside of that, if you slide up that one fret, it's kind of dissonant, unless you only play the top two strings. But hey, to each his own. So you have that up here, seventh fret to eighth fret, back to seven. And if you do it here, you can only play the top two strings. Sounds just fine though. I mean, there's no problem there. It's got a nice full sound. Obviously, it's a little bit deeper, fuller sound with that four string in there. So that's the whole thing. The sister, don't you? The sister, don't you? The sister, don't you kiss me once or twice and say it's very nice and then you run. for watching be sure and check out my website jagshouse.com j-a-g-s-h-o-u-s-e.com i believe it's in that corner maybe maybe it's in that corner i don't know i keep changing it cigar box guitar since 2004 over 4,000 sold one string two string three string six string daily bows dulcimers all sorts of different things ukuleles check it out makes a great christmas gift be sure and subscribe if you haven't already thanks for watching see you next time